uh, can i see some reactions or uh, anything in the chat uh, let's make it interactive yeah i think yeah uh, nitya um, we 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 are also into it uh, we are also very worried uh, when you when we were in your place uh any other messages and reactions i think you have a react button over there you can make use of it all right uh, i think yeah as uh, uh, sam mentioned uh, oracle is coming uh, to your college on 28th i think you have a uh, one week of time now and yeah uh, coming to the like uh, just before uh, attempting any exam i would say uh, be prepared uh, make yourself prepared for all these exams and uh, be ready uh, to write to attempt all those exams and uh, since placement season has started just now i think you guys will do an amazing job uh, first of all uh, coming to oracle specific interview like oracle is a uh, is a great company i have interned at oracle uh, like the pattern was uh, the same for the inter internship and for the full time in our batch i am not sure how is how is going to be your partner pattern now but then uh, uh, oracle will help you like oracle is a great organization and you have like we had almost one examination like one examination and followed by three interview rounds like the examination we had was completely related to uh, mcqs and uh, i would say it was one of the toughest exams uh, we have written in our college like uh, compared to all the, all other companies uh, because it had an internal time limit for each and every mcq since it covers all the concepts of uh, dbms and dbms oops and uh, aptitude vocabulary everything but then it had a special uh, time constraints internally for every question and the questions are designed in such a way that uh, like it, it has like it, it uh, they give a uh, big question and it the question the answers the the following five questions are the following five questions are de depends on the same question like it had a flow chart it have few, few gaps in it you need to sit and figure out uh, and uh, fill the entire flow chart in one go and you will be able you are good to answer all the five questions followed by it. so it is how uh, it looks for an oracle exam like you will be uh, like uh, give, you will be very much cha challenged while writing the exam i would say compared to other exams so um, like oracle maintains that standard of uh, not letting the students uh, uh like um, do mal practice or something but then yeah it helps like it helps if you are more focused and more uh, like uh, more uh, focused into the exam i think you would do great e even if you uh, um like even if you uh, if even if someone does mal practice i think you can um, overcome them if you are focused and if you are uh, if you are sticking to the exam and writing your own exam uh so that was the exam we had mcqs and then followed by interviews like oracle interviews also are completely different i would say they are very much outputs uh, output centric uh, interviews um let me give an example they'll ask you a question uh, related to sorting or something so uh, they um, what what an interviewer does is um, they they also should report to their higher authorities or the or to the entire panel that how this uh, uh, student has performed in their interview right it's not their only decision it's the entire panel decision the entire panel will discuss and uh, decide whether to take that student or not so to uh, tell those uh, like to tell the eligibility of a student they have a certain a uh, box like certain a uh, chart or something wherein they can pick uh, wherein they have special attributes to identify in each and every student yeah uh, i'll come back to uh, that question question yeah let me uh, complete this first so uh, where did i stop yeah uh, they have a specific uh, ch uh, chart uh, to maintain that how a individual performs 
so they will check your communication they will check your approach they will check your output so even though you have uh, like many companies uh, doesn't care about the output or few companies are uh, are more concerned about the approach which you are which you are telling but then oracle is something is, which is output driven immaterial of how like what method you followed or uh, immaterial of how how you solve the problem but they are very much output centric so you need to show the uh, required output they'll share as uh, uh, like coding platform link you need to enter into that and the entire interview process was was in zoom so you need to enter into that or you need to uh, share your screen sometimes and explain them so the first one was technical you will be given two couple of questions followed by uh, core concepts like computer fundamentals it might be a java it might be a uh, oops it might be any programming language which you know so yeah um make sure you write comments make sure you uh, make them understand how you are solving the problem and also try to get the output as early as possible and they will also take a screenshot of your code and let the panel know how you have dealt with the solution so writing comments will help not only understood let not only understood by the uh, uh, interviewer but also the entire panel so think it in a broad spectrum right you need to make it understand to the person who not, who also not interviewed you so that is how you write code right so anyone could if anyone could see should be able to understand your logic so the questions will be uh, easy to moderate level i would say you practice everything related to sorting uh, and uh, everything related to sorting trees and any other data structure which you have mm, followed by a second round would also be mostly coding round uh, it might have two questions or one question with dbms question so dbms questions can be uh, like it 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 definitely will have a group by having uh, and all the other conditions required so most probably they will ask you a question in these uh, in these in these areas of dbms uh, to write the query and try to execute it right so after that you will uh, you will be pushed into an hr round uh, if you qualify the all all three rounds like all the two rounds previously so uh, in the hr round they would most probably ask you questions regarding your resume or your academics or your mz uh, main score like it would be a uh, generous conversation between you and the hr but then ultimately they'll see how you how well you are um, uh, good with other aspects of your curriculum also you you you, you might sound very technical uh, during the previous two interviews but this is the time where you should focus how to make that a bond with the uh, unknown person and uh, try to uh, like tell, how, tell tell every not everything tell uh, tell how much ever required that makes you that makes them understand that you are more confident and you are more capable for that particular role right so uh, if you are if you deal with all the three rounds uh in a more sophisticated way i would say you would definitely get uh, an opportunity as a full time employee at oracle yeah oracle yeah um this is pretty much regarding oracle and yeah um, and the work culture everything also will uh, will help you like uh, make you a better person in terms of your career also if you are if you join oracle so um this is pretty much about the entire process in a in an overview but then yeah if anyone has any questions i would like to take it feel free to interact because this is the time you have uh, to clear all your doubts you have only one week of time to get into uh, such gr good company so make you of it hello am i audible yes sifar uh i wanted to ask if there was negative marking in the first round itself mm, i think there yeah i think we i think it is one to two minutes time for each question and there is a negative marking for few and i don't think it it mattered a lot because yeah all right thank you mm. 
there is negative marking uh, in as far as i remember uh, did did the oracle team or the uh, hr team uh, tell you that how will the pattern be for this time mm, i don't think so not as of now all right uh any more questions uh bro i have a doubt actually uh mm -hmm. so is it um, well the technical round will be focused much more on the java or not not really if you tell them because oracle uh, has an entire uh, like it it was built uh, entirely on java previously but then they are expanding their Uh, programming language and all into python and other uh, other data analytic stuff but then if you tell them you know java J they will definitely uh, take like take you deep into that so if you have that in your resume and make uh, get those words in into your conversation that you know java well they will definitely ask you because they are they have the expertise in that particular area right it it always like your resume and your uh, communication is always a question paper to them to ask you the further question so make sure uh, make sure you have a good intro about yourself uh, 3 to 4 lines would definitely be enough and make sure you have uh, like for each point make sure you have a strong um, like strong base uh, in your like to showcase that you have done something to support that particular uh, line sentence so whatever you utter in the interview it would definitely be the next question that the interviewer could ask so be careful about what whatever you are telling in the interview if you don't know the answer tell them you don't know or else let them know that you are ready to take input from them or help from them and uh, solve the problem so there are many many things will be going on out of your control in your control so make sure you develop that conversation that the interviewer would itself uh, help you to come out of that problem so they are very helpful but make sure you are uh, not uh, very dumb but then you are uh, clever enough that you could take their inputs and make a solution out of it so how important is java for this is if you don't mention java then they will not ask you regarding anything like anything regarding java if you mention some other language like python and all they would definitely ask you questions related to that but java is the more uh, expertise uh, when compared to python Oh yeah. Any other questions? Oh, uh, hello, Shivan sir. Hello, ah, uh, Srinivas yes. Sir, sir, what is it? What is the weightage of projects in the technical interviews? Hmm. Yeah, projects would be a starting point uh, in the conversation, uh, like in the interview, uh, because they would look into your resume sometimes, uh, and they would definitely start the conversation with your projects or end it. Uh, Con like having a, I would say having a one full stack project would definitely help for an HD role, followed by any other projects of uh, domain uh, as you uh, as you develop in your curriculum. That's it. Projects uh, play a very important role, and they would definitely ask you to uh, explain where this question would definitely come. Where where did you start in your project, or uh, where did you Where did you feel uh, difficult to implement uh, any particular feature in your project? So it uh, make sure you drive the conversation into a comfort zone where you could explain uh, pretty much about your project. If you are not like even, I think you might do a project with your partner, but you share the project, but you might not do the and you might not have entire knowledge on the project. Make sure you drive the conversation in such a way that. it comes to your comfort zone and um, or, or else the 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 part which you implemented it so make sure you tell about that and uh, that would definitely create an impact uh, in your interview 
yeah thank you so much yeah okay how many querying questions were asked in the round i i already mentioned that it was an mcq uh, uh, exam coding uh, there were not straight coding questions they gave a coding uh, question with respect for example we have a tree and it had some missing or else it missing elements and they ask us to uh, write uh, they ask us to do the bfs sorry uh, uh, bf like uh, traversal in pre order in order traversals and try to like the options would definitely be a very tricky options and you would if you have a great uh, like i would say if you have a core a great core concepts in each and every data structure i would definitely say you would uh, uh, def uh, you would uh, like attempt those questions very carefully how was your resume when you appeared for that this company so uh, i appeared twice like i gave interview twice to this company one for the internship one for the full time so uh, for the internship uh, i had no experience uh, uh, i was not even part, like i had only projects and mm, i had no experience for for, for, for attempting the internship uh, i had just cl uh, club uh, positions and then followed my my projects i had a pretty good projects uh, related to uh, full stack android and game development and coming to the full time uh, inter full time uh, thing uh, i had an experience of uh, the oracle itself as an intern because i was doing internship at this point of time and it's always encouraged that you could uh, put to your ongoing projects or ongoing internships make sure you mention that Uh, a star mark, or it mentioned the duration of the project or the uh, internship which you are doing right now. So it's always encouraged to have an have an experience for a full time. But then, if you don't have an experience, it's completely all right. Uh, they definitely look into the projects or uh, the way uh, how strong you are with your interview and the problem solving abilities. yeah all right yeah that is pretty much i think uh, ranadeer can take over from this from here we would yes, definitely sir. answer all the all your questions by the end of the meet uh, let ranadeer also share his experience if you can you guys can uh, learn learn his perspective as well. yeah please go ahead yeah thank you sir Uh, so yeah the basic process is uh, uh, same as mentioned last time but i have a slightly different experience in my interview so maybe it's better to uh, share the whole process again so yeah uh, the first step is to uh, attend the online assessment and in this online assessment there were no coding questions in which you would do actual problem solving and write the real code so all of the questions are multiple choice questions and you would have verbal also in this uh, uh online online assessment so basically the test is divided into four sections aptitude logic uh, verbal and uh, technical in aptitude you will be having basic math like uh, profit loss speed distance permutations combinations all our questions in logical you will be having uh, visual reasoning like guess the next pattern blade relations logical reasoning statement and conclusion type questions in verbal you will be having grammar questions reading comprehension questions and in technical side you'll be having uh, basic c c++ concepts oops concepts and some java concepts and also os computer architecture data structures dbm dbms and uh, oops concepts so that's regarding online assessment 
coming to interviews yeah uh, and one important point in online assessments is you can't uh, go back to the question you already attempted because as shavan said it is uh, time based with one question each so once you have uh, uh, attempted that question or left it you can't go back and keep the option again so it's better to uh, keep some option and uh, go to the next question and don't think that you'll be uh, skipping this question and answering the next question hoping that it will be easy and again as shravan said it will be dependent on the previous question so if you can't do the current question there is a high probability that you will not be able to answer the next question in that section so take your time and answer all the questions and also each question will be having less than 1 minute time so you have to keep that in mind basically all the questions are very easy but you have to manage your time and yeah there will be no negative marking coming to interviews yeah uh, first round is a uh, pretty chill normal interview and they'll be asking more of theory questions like uh, they ask me the whole oops concepts and whole dvms concepts and they also ask me to implement some of the oops concepts on the spot so you have to practice that as well implementation of oops concept it is better to uh, learn c++ or java for uh, implementing oops concept as uh, python will not have all the oops concept and it is hard to implement if you want to stick to python and you can continue your uh, problem solving with python it wouldn't matter and they will not be specific about the programming language you used as long as you give them their expected answer and yeah in my first round they have asked me all the theory questions and followed with uh, some basic easy problem solving questions such as fibonacci and uh, interleavings problem and they were looking for the style of my code and the analysis i do on my code rather than the logic itself so it is uh, essential that you think out loud in interview process so you have to uh, speak out what you are writing so that the interviewer will uh, have less scope to ask you more questions that's to your benefit and yeah that's basically a uh, technical interview one and in technical interview two uh, i was uh, having a rapid fire question uh, rapid fire uh, around with my interviewer so my interviewer had my resume on her sc screen and she was asking me every line so it's very important that you know every line of your resume and you have to be uh, able to narrate it like a story like uh, if you want to uh, explain your project your interviewer will ask just ask you to explain your project but you have to make it sound interesting it's your responsibility so there were cases where uh, interviewers uh, were uh, talking about projects for one and a half hour so be prepared to be able to narrate your project for one and a half hours that is a bit extreme case but uh, yeah that is possible and in my case my interviewer asked me to implement a code from scratch of a page i used in my uh, project so uh, she was basically testing my depth in the project and uh, yeah uh, we can expect an sql question after all oracle is in dbms company and yeah you have to be uh, thorough with the joins and uh, sub queries
you can expect the question from them and yeah my second round interviewer also asked me the implementation of hoops concepts but in a different manner she asked me to show me a, a real use case of uh, abstraction i guess so what i did was uh, i took a hashing uh, uh, approach and basically i explained her what all should be private what all should be uh, public what method should be accessible i'll explain it to you so that you can relate it so hashing is my class and i have two private uh, attributes one is prime prime number which will be used to calculate the mod values and all and the hashing function hashing function is private because it should not be accessible to any other methods or else it will be compromised so you have to explain it in this way the public uh, accessible functions method should be uh, verifying the hash and uh, uh, giving out the hash Uh, you should also explain what the argument should be and uh, what you should output and that's it for technical round 2 and the last round was managerial round uh, this is the round where they ask you the typical questions what are your strengths where you where do you see yourself in 5 years and all that but uh, it will be taken by a senior person in the company like a vc so you have to be witty and uh, impress this guy it uh, if you are uh, confident in your interviews from first and second rounds you pretty much got the job you just have to not screw it up in round 3 so you can expect some puzzles in this round and uh, some open ended questions and also my interviewer asked me a question where uh, how do you sort 8 gb of data with available 2 gb of ram so this is a merge sort application and i explained it to him uh, sharing my screen and uh, using a whiteboard so he was impressed with my approach so you have to uh, create an opportunity for yourself to impress the interviewer like that and yeah uh, if you search uh, search for the same question in uh, stack overflow you will get uh, the answer for this uh, question and below you will get suggestions of some same question so i prefer you doing that and being thorough with uh, such questions and yeah that is my interview experience and also one last uh, important thing never say that you don't know anything in an interview say that you are not sure and give some unrelated uh, answer or something or something which is remotely related so that they can guide you and uh, you can guess later on it it might be something you know but you know that it is called that so you don't want to take chances in interviews so you should say that uh, i don't i am not sure about this but i think this is the answer for that and you should continue yeah that's it if you have any questions regarding interview process we will take it now and uh, if you don't have any questions we'll i can share you some resources on how to prepare and how to write resume
Okay, there is a question. Can you share the questions that were asked in Tekton 1? Yeah, so there were a lot of questions, but uh, I can share you the pages where they asked you that questions. So basically, search in Geeks for Geeks for uh, Oops concepts in uh, C or Java and make sure you read all the theory along with the implementation. And you can expect all the questions from that page to be asked in interview because they asked me everything in the page in the interview because the interviewer will also use the same page. And also for DTMS, I recommend you to use uh, two resources. There is one resource called uh, Geeks for Geeks last minute revision plan or something. So which is very resourceful and you can use it for uh, C and DBMS and uh, OS. Yeah. And also you can use uh, take you forward frequently asked questions. You can search up for it in Google. Saiteja has a question. What are the questions that we expect in live coding technical round? Yeah, uh, Saiteja, you can expect that on lead code, easy to medium questions. And if you are not able to implement the medium question, the interviewer will help you. So Oracle is not based on problem solving. It is mostly based on implementation. So you can take advantage of that. Can you share the resources in chat? Uh, I'll narrate it out. You can search it in Google. I'm sharing them uh, on the fly. No, no, you can go ahead. Thank you, Sean. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, for resume writing, there is a uh, page called uh, Career Cup uh, Resume Writing. So, it is a standard resume. And also, you can search in Google for uh, ATS resume rules. So basically, uh, how the resume screening is done is uh, they will use a ATS software in which uh, they will extract the text from your resume. So it is preferred you use uh, a single column resume and not two column resume so that the extraction will be uh, easily done and uh, it will be doing some NLP operations and all that stuff as you know. And yeah, there are some rules for that. So those rules are available in net and you can modify your resume according to that. I'll also share my resume with your PC so that you will bring it in your PC. And also for uh, aptitude questions, you can use India Bix. You have model wise aptitude questions there. And for S SQL, if you want to practice SQL, you can use this site. I'm sharing the thoughts. Yeah, this site is very useful. And for problem solving and all, you can use Leap Code. And it is also preferable that you give contests in uh, Leap Code and Code Chef or Code Process so that you will be uh, training your mind to act rationally in, within the given time duration. Most of us can solve more, uh, any of the problems we see in interviews, but we have to man manage the nervousness and uh, give out a solution in given time duration. So giving contests will help you with that. Any more questions?
Uh, hi, Sujay. Portfolio website is not mandatory, but if you have, it is a pretty good impression on the interviewer because they'll know that you have deployed a site and you are maintaining it. How confident were you when you appeared for the exam? I'm not a superhero. <laughs> so yeah, I am in the same state as you. I wasn't sure if I will be able to clear the interview or not, uh, clear the screening round itself or not, because my GPA was very low at the time. Can we expect gap and three questions? Uh, in online assessment, uh, there is a section exclusive for three, co three questions. So it is important to have uh, knowledge in tree. And graph is not uh, very much seen in uh, college level questions for us. And tree based uh, interview questions can also be asked. Like the basic questions, top, top view, side view, traverse. What topics are most probably to be asked in DSF? For Oracle, it is trees, I should say. And uh, yeah, most probably it is trees. But for any other company, it would be DP. Yeah, uh, I would like to add one point here. Like, uh... In um, with relate with respect to Oracle, they expect you to be thorough with trees in even in the exam as well as for the interviews. Uh, for the interviews, they, they are more concerned about conceptual oriented problem solving. Uh, they, uh, as Ranadir mentioned, they might ask you to implement OOPS concepts, or they might ask you to implement a sort algorithm. Uh, they might ask you to implement like the co concept like this, and also. Uh, even for other interviews, they would definitely ask, like if it is a high package or high, high, high company, like it's a tech giant, they would definitely have a DP question because it is easy to be done in an exam and they, ha they would definitely have uh, like DP uh, for, for, a, for a point to converse also. So even in the exams, and for the uh, interviews, DP is something which is really, really uh, conversable and makes them understand that you you understood the core concepts of programming. So DP helps you to figure out all the logics and also make make uh, make you to optimize things so far. So I would suggest that you mainly focus on DP if you are uh, if you are thorough with all the concepts like arrays, stacks, queues. Uh, and uh, like uh, structured data, uh, uh, like uh, structured data structures. Like that, yeah. Uh, DP is something really important. I would like to stress on it. That's it. Oh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, so, in your time, what was the percentage of people that made it to round two? For people who made, who attempted round one, what was the percentage that made to round two? I would say, per, like the percentage of re, like the the high, the chances of getting rejected is not showing the output uh, they argue to and um, not like not able to like if they understand that you are uh, struggling a lot to communicate or if they understand if they fi figure out that you are. Uh, unable to express it and you don't have a knowledge on that particular concept they asked you, they will definitely not consider you for the next round. And I, as I've already mentioned, the, the everything you write on that coding board, uh, they would definitely take a screenshot of it and have it as a proof to discuss it to the further team. So make sure you, uh, whatever you talk or whatever, like I would say, may ha have that conversation built with that interviewer and make sure you write few comments also if possible on the coding board so, so that they can even if they look into the logic later they would able to understand it right so 
these are the high chances of getting rejected uh, in the in any in any round so if it is not matching with the output they asked you and if it if you are not able to communicate properly uh, the logic or if you fail to like this if you if they understand you that you are not having that particular knowledge they would definitely not consider thank you yeah. also like uh, how many people are called for uh, the technical round one technical round one i think um, uh, around 400 400 students have attempted the exam uh, and then i think 100 120 or some students they uh, they were shortlisted yeah and finally they were given 25 to 30 students the full time opportunities in our batch thank you hmm yeah these statistics may vary from uh, year to year uh, based on their uh, requirement and based on the performance of the students so yeah this is a rough estimation so be prepared for it uh addition to the previous point so orkeli came for three roles for our uh, college so gbu processes and applications so all three uh, summed up there are around uh, 30 plus people i guess uh, 40 below and 30 plus and uh, also i think you guys have a couple of like three more sections to compete with uh in addition to the ha, like current strength and also yeah uh, be mindful that companies might uh, reduce their in uh, intake also sometimes uh, based on the requirement so uh make sure that you uh, give your best and uh, uh, make no mistakes uh, as far as you know that's it so any more questions we are happy to take uh yes sir may so my application was uh, to share a web page with multiple users at the same time so it's like a a uh, collaborative media player kind of site so yeah the interviewer was uh, interested in how i was implementing it so i mentioned all the uh, ui components i used and all the back and uh, stuff i was doing regarding that page and how i was connecting it so basically they were asking me to uh, explain what the page and how it works and how i implemented it okay the page during interviews i guess i read your question now okay the beats for beats page uh, i guess shravan has already uh put it in chat over here copy it in i will share the oops page over here varun yaar i have a question so online test has only mcqs but on many topics yes i think there were to in total 100 questions uh, all together for each topic i think 
25 for each section. We had sections like um, aptitude, vocabulary, computer fundamentals, and then related to coding. There are 100 questions. And each a minute or less. Another thing you have a question, can you tell more about real-time MOOCs, concepts and implementation? Okay, so you have to basically think it out yourself. Uh, I can't really say if uh, I can give out more examples like that, but uh, yeah, where do we use uh, inheritance? So regarding that, you can uh give a nice example using uh, <laughs> let me think no Saiteja, you cannot attempt a previous question uh, the questions are uh, like if you, you make sure you try to understand the question before solving it and make a solution so because the further questions also might depend on the same paragraph or same question so if you solve it once you can answer five questions so that is how it goes so yeah sorry. coming to the example of the oops concept uh, there is a inheritance uh, example which uh, everyone will really use after uh, joining in internship or full time if they use sql so basically what the companies do is they will uh, have a java program or a, any program uh, any code that will automate the uh, generation of tables creation and uh, updation of tables so basically they will have a schema class and they will derive the table class from the schema class so that is a pretty good example which will uh, impress the interviewer the gpa mattering interviews except for qualifying the company as a person with very low gpa i can assure you that it will only take you to some extent and it will mostly be used as a tiebreaker yeah there are uh, high chances of asking mongodb questions also in fact my interviewer asked me because I used MongoDB in my uh, project. And also, if you have any technology mentioned in your projects, they would definitely ask that questions. If you mention a NoSQL or Firebase, which you use, they'll ask you the difference between the traditional SQL and what are the differences and all. So I, as I've already told, it, your resume is a question paper for them. So make sure you choose your uh, expertise wisely in your resume. And also not only related to the live, like real life, uh, oops concept but also they'll ask you related to real life data structures also how can you implement an array where can you see a stack where can you see a queue uh, like uh, you can tell them you use stacks and queues for scheduling in operating systems uh, the like all the processes and all you can tell them uh, like the, the applications like mainly the applications of the data structures in real life so they'll mostly focus on these concepts. They in fact asked me related to these, uh, where you can you, like tell us all the data structures where you can use in your real life. 
so make sure you understand the concepts from the basics itself and yeah, try to uh, express them in a, a very unique way or in a way which you can make them understand yeah any more questions Hmm. Can we expect bit manipulation questions? Hmm. It depends. Uh, I don't think you can. Like there is a probability to ask bit manipulation. Uh, since there is ah uh, no coding questions for our case, like in our case during the MCQ test, so it would be related to conceptual bit manipulation questions. But then, yeah, they would they. It it's a part it it is a part of data structures and all right, so they would definitely ask you uh, questions related to bit manipulation, but not as high probable as other concepts. Hmm. Uh, like if if uh, like uh, you are. you are greetings uh, your way of taking up the interview will definitely decide how the interviewer re uh, should react accordingly so if you are more uh, uh, enthusiastic if you are more uh, if you are having more zeal uh, towards the interview they would definitely also carry that enthusiasm uh, along with you if they feel that you are more tensed if you if they feel uh, you are more worried of the interview in spite of having all technical knowledge and all uh, they would really support you to uh, uh, make yourself feel comfortable they'll uh, let you take a minute and think about it so most of the interviewers will uh, try to help you during the interview it's always in your hands how you carry the entire interview process uh i think i have answered your question varun uh hmm yes you can expect but um if you would uh, directly tell them uh, the solution after seeing the question it would uh, ruin your interview experience i would say even if you know the answer um let them understand uh, that you have driven the entire solution from the basics make them understand that you how you approach the solution with brute force and followed by other optimized approaches so it's ultimately the output which you show and how well you communicated with them you can expect few questions from direct delete code Mm, there are i would say there are high chances of getting a python programmer uh, uh the final uh, like i would say there is a high chance of getting a python programmer if he is uh, uh, like confident enough because python is not a, not a major expertise of the oracle they would definitely if you tell if you are a python developer they would definitely ask you the basics or if you tell them you are more into ai and all uh, the fan if you use those fancy words they would definitely feel impressed because most of the i would like this is not something uh, their expertise in, like most of their expertise but they would definitely get impressed if you use high high terminology and make them understand regarding your project a python programmer sometimes may have a high chances of getting rejected may ha may sometimes have a high chances come even compared to a java programmer because uh, if you tell uh, that you are a java programmer they would dig deep dig deep into the particular concepts and make you answer wrong but then if you are a python programmer they would ask you minimally so it happens in either ways if they are looking the interviewer is more concerned about java they they would sometimes reject you 
if they are more impressed with your python knowledge if they feel that you have a content in python they would de definitely push you ahead even compared to a java program so it it always depends yeah that is how it goes me Mm. Oh, any more questions? So, yeah. Uh, something related to the roles uh, they would definitely come after you attempt the interview and it would definitely be their choice of putting you in those particular roles uh, regarding to uh, gbus uh, apps and fcss something yeah. so those roles are completely in their hands i think it depends on how uh, like it, and it something random uh, you can say but yeah and there are few more questions yeah that's it i guess are there any more questions we can expect Uh, guys, if there are no questions, we'll wrap up the session for now. Uh, so we'll wait for one other minute or two minutes. Uh, if there are no questions, we'll wrap up the session. And yeah. I, yeah. Uh, please go ahead, Sam. You're telling Sam. Sure. Uh, I want to give a heads up for all the ID people. So uh, back in the day, in our seniors' uh, graduation. It was actually 300 registrations were made, but this year the uh, registrations are 753. So the competition is going to be high. I encourage everyone to have, do their best in the in this test. Uh, Janardhan, what technologies do the freshers work on after getting selected? I think that would be a different topic. Uh, I would just sum it up. Uh, it it depends on how how like it depends. It completely depends on a team which you are placed in. So every team works on different technologies. It's completely on the company's choice uh, to put you in some technology. But then you will have a flexibility to choose the technology once after you join and gain experience in that particular. Role which they placed you. I think it would uh, sum it up. Uh, Narsimha, actually, we have submitted resume in Pod.a for interview. Should we use the same resume? Actually, we have some. Uh, let me take that question, Shravan Group. Sure. So, Narsimha, coming to your question, uh, it's your call. You can use. Um, whichever resume you like uh, we have given another feature of adding your own custom resume in the pod.ai website you can have uh, so from 2024 batch we are using pod uh, as a placement application so bro that's the reason yeah sure uh, yeah before you uh, we used to have the google form right for the outlook and registration process yes yes so right now we have a separate uh, portal for uh, created for us that same is, like something like lms and irp that would really help and it's a great initiative yes okay guys then uh, let's wrap up the session um since there are no further questions 
Uh, I would like to uh, take this opportunity for Shavananda and Randirana to take their uh, time uh, and share all the valuable feedback and their experiences and what kind of questions and preparation they have done. Thank you, Anna, uh, both of you. So we'll try our best in the examination and we'll meet you at the office if it's possible. <laughs> yeah, all the very best to each and everyone. Um, I think it's a pretty good phase you, in life. Uh, you will learn a lot. Uh, you will explore a lot. So make the most out of it. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Uh, if you that's the wrong way to start. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all the best, everyone. And I'll be hoping you to meet you in the office very soon. And make sure you ping me while you come to office. And also, if you have any more doubts, you can reach me out in my LinkedIn. I'm posting my URL in the chat. And guys, one more thing, we'll be sharing this video URL via PCs. So if you don't uh, get this uh, video recording, just ask your respective pieces of your class. They'll share this with you. Okay, and then, uh, so I'm ending the meet as of now. Yeah, sure. Uh, you can always reach, reach me out uh, whenever there is any need. I would re like... I would encourage you to connect to connect with me. Yeah. Sure. So guys, um, in the chat board, as you can see, uh, we have both Randirana and uh, Shavanana's LinkedIn profiles. You can reach out to them anytime. So I reached out, uh, reached out to Randirana a few months back regarding the Oracle. Only. I had taken some suggestions from him. So, okay, no, thank you so much for the time. Uh, so I'm ending the meet as of now. Yeah. Thank you.